Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Pat Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. I'm really stoked today. I got a brand new bag for you. It's Think Tank's new Video Workhorse 19. Let's check it out. Hey guys, have I got a video storage bag for you. This is the Video Workhorse 19 from Think Tank. It's brand new. There's three of these bags in the series and a couple of rollers, I understand. So if you're looking for a bag that looks good, uh, is going to protect your gear, your expensive video gear, because this is designed for a professional videographer's rig, like a red camera body, that, that sort of uh, thing, heavy-duty lenses, this bag is going to do it for you. Now this is the smallest one in the series, but let's take a quick look and I'll see if I can get you oriented. On top, you've got a heavy duty grab handle on this bag. This is, um, I would say heavy duty ballistic nylon because it feels a little bit tougher than some of the other Think Tank products that we have. You got a heavy duty shoulder bag here. You want to take the bag from the van or, you know, to the chute. The side of the bag, you got two heavy duty straps here. So if you're going to throw it up in an overhead bin or you're going to throw it into the van or whatever it is you're doing, um, you got lots of grab handles to get a hold of this thing. On the bottom of the bag, you got a couple of heavy duty plastic runners. So if you're sitting down, the surface is wet, you're going to be protected. On the back side of this bag, you've got a nice loop here where you can run. If you're using a roller bag and you want to mount this bag over the handle and slide it down, you've got that option as well. On the top of the bag, you've got a slot for business cards and you've got a generous compartment here for your passport or some other ID papers you're trying to get a football game. Um, so that's available to you. Heavy duty lugs here. If, if you want to clip something else onto the bag, you know, besides the shoulder strap. So, Let's take a look inside the bag and we'll see what we've got. On the front, you got a generous compartment here. I've got some wipes and a couple of pens in here. Put some business cards in here if you want. The zippers on this bag are fused and lockable. So you can put a TSA lock through the loop here on this bag if you want to lock it up, which is not a bad idea if you're carrying something that's really expensive. Um, so let's go inside the bag. One thing Think Tank has done, well, two things they've done on this bag that I love, and that's the, the green color, or the, I guess it's a turquoise color, you would say. But, uh, and also they've gone back to the plastic storage pouches, which I love. I'm, I'm not too fussy on the mesh ones. I don't know, I, I just like the look of this plastic stuff. You can see through it fairly easily. You can see where your cables and, and odds and ends are, which, you know, again, it's personal preference. Now, I probably used the word heavy duty on this bag a few times, and it, it's designed to support at least 45 pounds pushing down on top of it. I'm, I'm sure some nutcase is going to do a video with this bag, having an elephant pushed down on the top of it. But really, I mean, the bag is reinforced with striated uh, aluminum or reinforcement. And you can notice that when you open the bag, you can feel it all the way around the outside here. You know, you're not going to be able to compress this bag fairly easily. It's going to take quite a beating before your equipment gets damaged. Now, the key to the bag is that you know, designed for a professional video guy. He wants to have his rig in here and as much of it set up and ready to go as possible. So, you know, my puny little uh, D3300, even with the shotgun mic on it, I'm still able to leave it all assembled and drop it down into the bag. And I still have room for our little Canon camcorder, which is what I'm shooting this video on right now. This is a HFR40, and it fits in, you know, widthwise. I got room for our H2 zoom, and you can see I'm not struggling to get these things in. I've got another Think Tank pouch here for odds and ends, and we also are ready to go with, you know, our lab mics for the camcorder if we need it. So. You know, you, you're going to do double duty here with a shotgun mic or lab mics. You're all set. And, of course, no think tank bag comes without the traditional raincoat. Um, and this bag is no different. So there's your rain pouch there. Let's put this back in here. I've got our iPad mini in here. So that gives you an idea of the height. The iPad mini 
basically there you go give you a, a good idea of the height of this bag i can't put it in vertical it's not going to close but certainly landscape ways it, it works just fine and then i've even got our trek tech uh, teapod which we tend to use quite a bit for video work um, all in all i'm really impressed with this bag i think you know 10 years from now this bag's going to still be around and still still doing everyday duty um, can't say enough about it. If you're in the market for one, I think they're about $229 uh, on the Think Tank site. I'll put a link in the video, or, or sorry, in the description that you can use. It'll take you right to Think Tank if you're interested in one. And keep in mind that this is the smallest one of the three shoulder bags. This is the 19, so there's two others that are larger, and there's a couple of roller bags, I understand. So take a good look at the site. Um, I hope this little quick review here has helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and like us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care now.